talk about something that is very closely related to innovation and that is awakening entrepreneurship which is really and i want to show you how we go about tying the message of awakening entrepreneurship to a specific target segment which is youth and and that is what we are all about it's about awakening the spirit of enterprise and entrepreneurship in youth so very quickly what is enterprise led development we believe that the world is not uh, or rather india is not a pyramid we believe it's a diamond and we believe in that diamond the top 250 million great more than 3 dollars a day are reasonably well off we would like to call them rich but you know, they they are self sufficient they can take care of themselves very well uh, then there is this 2 350 million less than a dollar a day which is what we call very poor and for them i think it just to get the three square meals a day is a challenge and really we are not targeting those that is for the government for organizations that are charitable organizations to come in to just feed them but what we are targeting is the middle of that diamond the 500 million that are not really challenged for just getting their basic necessities but do look at themselves as a way that they need to get ahead they want to be ahead they want to do something differently in the future for this particular segment the top down grant and subsidy doesn't work what we need to do instead of just handing them um, you know uh, free stuff is to figuratively speaking teach them how to fish rather than to give them the fish this is about inclusive growth you need to get growth within the system and that only that not only inclusive but sustainable that that growth has to be sustained over an extended period of time and and that comes when you create a sense of purpose within the team within the within that community this has to be purpose driven for it to be sustainable and 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 that again that purpose has to be instituted at an age group which can understand uh, the meaning of change and that can change and actually be a force for the change and the way we try to institute that is to showcase real success stories out there in the country in the real environment to this target market of 20 to 25 year old youth that we are targeting it's a special train that we charter every year we take 400 it was 350 last year this year we are upping it slightly we take 400 young adults selected over thousands that apply from around the country 20 to 25 year olds very bright youth that have shown the spark of wanting to change and then we take them in the special charter train for 18 days around the country visiting 13 different locations traveling by night visiting by day and we visit people whom we call the true heroes the unsung heroes in many instances some of them are sung some of them are known but we are working on discovering new or unsung heroes every year and all this with one goal to awaken the spirit of enterprise in middle india the middle india that we are targeting and the youth so as you can see there is an external uh, journey that takes place and and this is essentially our platform that we have this is what we call the five core red threads of the yatra there's an external journey that takes place you're traveling 8000 kilometers you see the country go past you it's tiring it's exhausting it's physically draining but there's also the panorama of the country that goes by but then during this time there is an inner journey taking place where this formative age group youth are going through their own rumination of who they are what they are there for what they're going to do taking all this in the romance of just looking through i mean i'm sure 90% of this audience has taken long train journeys just the romance of train journeys lets you introspect yourself as to where you're going so there's an inner journey associated with this whole movement and then we showcase something which is core to this forum by actually visiting those places where innovation has taken place we we visit arbind i care we hear from uh, the the creators the the people who are actually running it about what their stories are how they were formed hear about those personal stories of innovation but we also emphasize on something that's absolutely critical and that's been uh, emphasized enormously dr uh, um, mukti har said yesterday about team culture about open innovation and that's embedded in this philosophy of cooperation that we highlight during this journey that a team needs to form for an enterprise to to flourish and as in indians we are unfortunately rewarded enormously on individual achievement but when you come to an organization you realize the importance of teams 
and we try to bring that in this in this uh, in journey where we put teams together and say you have to come up with a solution to a problem and finally last but probably the most important is transformation and we are not we are humble enough to say that we are not going to transform 400 people by this journey i think that's not possible but what we believe is that we probably will light a spark which will come back later to bloom many more years down the road but there is an element of transformation that is also associated with going out discovering i think a speaker earlier told about immersive experience what is an immersive experience when you go out of your normal um, normal uh, environment and you go to a new environment where you discover what's out there and you come back and you learn but the transformation takes place when you come back when you come back to where you are from and you institute a change in the place that you are and you can see the the enormous references in history about coming back rosa parks went away from um alabama to maine she saw the blacks being treated very differently in maine she could have just learned from that and sat back but she came back to alabama and said no and rest is history the black movement started there so that is transformative experiences and we are hoping that through this journey through this experience of taking the youth we will spark the innovation that eventually will result in transformation and i think our focus is 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 exactly at the right spot which is the youth we we talk we learned we we heard about the pace of change if there is any segment in this uh the in the age group that is ready to accept and to move with the pace of change it is this segment they 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 are they are ready for change and you can see them we've seen them through the experiences that we have that they are willing to take on and move forward they are going to be our agents of change in the future we have to focus on this segment and i just want to emphasize a little bit more indian demogra demographic dividend it could to speak a little negative could be a demographic bomb if we don't focus on the segment they have got a lot of energy we need to channelize that energy into the right way and that's our focus but also the positive aspect that they are and i'm sure a lot of people sitting here in this room are within this age group of 20 to 25 year olds want to be that change that they want to see in the world truly to reflect gandhi ji's words they want to be that change so what do we do in the yatra uh, very quickly what we do is a three part learning experience we have something uh, a concept called role models unsung heroes the champions of change those uh, established uh icons or sustained successes that have been there that have had a social impact and they are amazing personal stories and we are highlighting those personal stories by visiting them in their place of of where they have executed then we have the interactions within the yatris and it's believe me you this is where the jugaad comes into absolute uh, sense of uh, you know in the in the, into the pinnacle where they are interacting with each other and we create the environment we have lecture theaters in the train where they would hear from people but they have we have we have breakout sessions they are in the train is running the movement and they are discussing about you know how uh, rural economics should work or they are hearing from somebody who is visiting us from one station to the next about how what they have achieved in water management for example and also we leave enough time for reflection time for fun and then the third aspect is the televised panel discussions we have the fortune of being associated with CNBC where we bring in speakers on six locations very panoramic locations around the country and with the uh, with the 400 youth in audience we have a, a, a live panel discussion of of a topical subject and not only that we have uh, we have creative artists in this whole thing it's amazing uh, you'll hear um, prasoon joshi wrote a song inspired by this movement and we have a song on this one we had a, a a dancer a very accomplished dancer from london that came choreographed a a, a dance movement which you'll see again in the video based on the song and and that that add so much to the creativity and the and the energy of 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 the of the participants this quickly highlighting those aspects the role model visits you see here mr joe madiat walking down with the students in gram vikas extremely rural location in orissa 6 hours from bhubaneswar so these students actually traveled all the way to see mr madiat in his location showcasing his ex, uh, his expertise and and his his achievements we hear from experts on how things are done people who have 
gone through those dark nights, those times when you feel as an entrepreneur that everything is going to get shut down and then something happens and things turn around. People like Anshu Gupta of Goonj, who single-handedly in some ways, but also through volunteer effort, has done enormously in creating one man's waste or one woman's waste into another person's uh, absolute necessity in terms of clothing. We highlight women role models, which we feel is absolutely critical by not only ensuring or trying our best to ensure that we have at least 50% participation within the, uh, in, the, in the train itself of, of women, but also we bring to them people like Madhura Chhatrapati, who has created this specific entrepreneurship cell in Bangalore for women, for women enterprises, or highlighting the, uh, the late Jyoti Nayak's Lijat Papad, an amazing story where women dominate. The organization is innovated around women domination over men so that there is a discipline maintained in the organization and there is a product that is produced which is so closely tied with the fabric of that infrastructure. So women entrepreneurs is a very important aspect for us and we have, uh, in our board is also well represented. We have a lady by the name Revati Prabhu who is very passionate about the subject and she uh, represents the charge for women entrepreneurs. Yatri interactions is absolutely critical and absolutely, I said Jugaad, this is where, it's amazing. This is learning taking place at different levels. We are learning about the role models we visit, but we're also learning about how to solve problems. To find out, for example, in the last year's journey in Trivandrum that we are not well stocked with uh, warm clothing because we are going to hit Delhi in December. And to work on a problem of a group of, uh, in a group of three yatris that solved it so that sweaters were delivered in Hyderabad before the train reached Hyderabad. And it was delivered on time. And there was no money lost in this thing. There was actually a small profit made in this thing. So that is Jugaad in my mind. You, you identify a problem, you find a way to solve it, and nobody moved the thing. Just phone calls being made designs being passed through, faxes being sent in, uh, sent from Madurai, uh, one hour wait during the train, somebody goes down. I mean, that is true innovation, but happening at a very low, low scale. But there is interactions taking place at all levels. We have synthesizing the learning where the, 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 the organizers are working with the Yatris to, to synthesize the learning that takes place during the Yatra. And, and the learning never stopped. I mean, uh, this is Bhubaneswar. 4 o'clock in the morning, people are discussing around the platform about, you know, what they learned that day. It never stopped. It went on 24-7. And that was the intensity of the whole, whole Yatra. So a lot of personal stories, powerful impact. You know, you know some of these people, some of these you don't know. Dr. Mashelkar was part of it as well. So these are significant impact that leaves an impact on, on people's mind. But there is also a, a systematic learning that took place throughout us, part of which we are showing out here, of, of going through this thing. And this were actually done, this, this summary was done by the Yatris. And there is a full summary on the website. Please do visit us on jagrutiyatra.com. But some of the learning, for example, Joe Mariets, uh, sitting in rural Olesa, for, stopped all of us for a minute and said, don't sympathize with me. This is my choice. This is what I want to do. It's not a sacrifice. I like what I'm doing. So this was a common theme, people doing social good, but that's their choice, they're doing that by choice. There is an unrelenting focus on resource management. Uh, there is a strong collaboration gene. I mean, that is repeated on and on. So yes, there is one um, instigator, but there is a team behind him collaborating to make this happen because they believe in that common vision. And then this is about staying power. This is not about uh, a sprint. This is about a marathon. And of course, process and scales absolutely do matter. And, and one message that comes out very strongly, we are humble, but we are defined. We are going to achieve our goal. That was very strongly coming through a lot of... So again, there is a lot more in terms of the learnings, and you please do visit the site uh, for more information. But about more than process learning, there's also a personal learning. There is a personal impact between the Yatris. It leaves a very deep impact. You can imagine, you know, 18 days of continuous travel, continuous movement, there is a lot of learning, and that leaves a personal impact. Relationships that are developed. We have recorded, now there are many that have been not recorded, 16 collaborative ventures of the Yatris themselves going on the train that have come up and come up with their own ventures recorded today. And, and these Yatris, sorry, are driving our registrations for the next Yatra. We are doing this 2009 as well, 
and these yatris and, and all the messages that are going are delivering the registrations for the next yatra. What is our longer vision, longer term vision? We do want to expand. Yatra is a, 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 a vehicle. Uh, we want to repeat this every year and we want to create more yatras if possible every year. But then there is this network that's being created, the spirit. There's collateral that's being created. There are songs, there are videos being created. But eventually where we want to get to is what we call Jagrati Enterprise Network. We do believe that it all needs to get grounded in brick and mortar. And we have a plan of, of generating four uh, networked incubators around the country. Still in formative stages, but this is where we are. And again, this enterprise network, just a little bit about it, it will be institutions, it will be for training and incubation. Focus again is on middle India, start and scale up enterprises, and it will be venture backed hopefully. So just a little bit before I go on to the movie about how to get involved, you can become a sponsor, um, you know, you can, you can look at your CSR portfolio and see if this is a possibility for you to support. Provide scholarships. We do have scholarships for the Yatris for you to get uh, su support and we can, you can partner with us as a corporate. Uh, it's very difficult to put uh, 18 days of experience into a 10 minute but we have tried. But I must say that it's a mammoth task and it's not done by individuals but it's done by a team. And uh, just to highlight that we've got a couple of people from our team that I'd like to uh, uh, just introduce to you, your Ashutosh Kumar, who is our uh, programming director. And we have Nandu, Nandu Kumar Kalate, who is our awareness director as well out here. And there's a group of uh, six permanent staff, uh, four to six permanent staff during the year, which grows to about the size of 25. So we have a, a good support structure. We have excellent processes from last year's learning. And it is this uh, team and process that really makes the difference for us to execute this successfully. With that, I'd like to leave it back to the uh, stage and to Mr. Gopal Krishna. <laughs>